Have you ever wondered why the western side of the western card, places like Kerala, Goa and coastal Karnataka receives heavy rainfall while the other sides just a few kilometers away remains much drier? Well, today we'll break it down in simple terms. The western cards are the long chain of mountains that run parallel to the western coast of India stretching from Maharashtra to Kerala. These hills may not be as tall as the Himalayas, but they have a huge impact on our weather, especially the monsoon. Between June and September, the monsoon wind hits India. Moist wind comes rushing in from the Arabian Sea, carrying loads of water vapor. As this wind moves towards the land, they first hit the western slope of the western card. Here's where it gets interesting. When moist air hits a mountain, it rises. And as it rises, the air cools down. Cooler air can't hold as much moisture. So the water vapor condenses into cloud and then rain falls. This phenomenon is called the orographic effect. The side of the mountain facing the wind is called the windward side. And that's where all the heavy rain falls. In this case, the western side of the western cart is the windward side. That's why the places like Mangalore, Kochi receives heavy rainfall amount that crosses 3000 to 6000 mm per year, among the highest in India. But what about the eastern side of the carts? Well, by the time the air crosses the mountain, it has already lost most of its moisture. This side, called the leeward side, lies in the rain shadow region. That's why places like Bangalore or Coimbatore gets less rain during the same monsoon season. Nature's design is brilliant, isn't it? A wall of hills turn the monsoon into a life-giving force for one side and a lesson in geography for the other. If you found this explanation helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more geography made simple, and drop a comment if you have ever visited the magical western card.